Hi friends! I am live from the beautiful Biltmore Estate. Uh, amazing. And while I've been here, it's just such an inspiring place. I've just re been reflecting on so many things, but especially something I've been thinking about lately is to change your mind to succeed. So uh, I want to share with you a little bit about why that's true, how it applies to being here at Biltmore, and then I'm going to give you actually three steps to help you change your mind to succeed. Because see, this amazing home was built in 1895. And um, it's luxurious, it's modern, and still today, hundreds of years later, or over 100 years later, thousands of people come to visit it all the time. But it exists here today because over 100 years ago, George Vanderbilt envisioned it. He came up over this hill, show you this way, top of this hill on a horse, looked over to this empty space, empty, full of mountains and hills, and he saw a home there. And because it was in his mind first, it exists today as the beautiful, luxurious place that it is. So how does that relate to us and what I was saying about changing your mind to succeed? When we first think of something, or when it, it first is in our mind before it's created. So to create something massive in your life, such as a mansion, or to create something new, or even just something different, a change in your life, we first must see it in our mind, just like George Vanderbilt first saw this amazing massive castle in our mind. And you know, maybe it's not a massive castle in your mind at this point. Maybe it's just having a better day. Maybe it's waking up and having a, a, a beautiful day, having a great spirit and a great attitude about your day. If that's a change from what you have normally experienced, this is something that you can influence in your mind first. Hello everyone. Hi Stephanie. Hi Mindy. I see you all. Thank you for tuning in. You guys, so this is why it's so important to pay attention because of all the thoughts, of tens of thousands of thoughts that go through our mind every single day, most of them are exactly the same as the thoughts that we thought the day before. And as a result, most of our experience day to day is exactly the same as it was yesterday. So that means in order to create anything new or anything different, any change in our life, it's important to first, here are the three steps to change your mind to succeed. First is to become aware of your thoughts. Become aware of what you're thinking. Acknowledge your thoughts that are limiting and familiar because your mind's job is not to help you succeed. Your, your, your brain, your mind's job is to keep things familiar and safe. So start to acknowledge what those are. And if you don't know what they are, they'll pop up once you try step two, which is to change your thoughts. Change your mind. Fill your, your mind with a new intention, a new story of what you want to happen today, a new story of what you want to happen in your life, a new legacy that you want. And when you do number two, if you weren't able to acknowledge anything in number one, they'll start to pop up. You'll start, you'll, you'll hear your mind. It'll tell you, I, I can't, I, I won't, I, it's too hard, it's impossible. When those thoughts start to pop up in your mind, recognize that that's just your conditioned way of thinking. It's just your mind trying to keep exactly the same things happening to you as they have happened so far. To create something different or new in your life, first acknowledge the old beliefs, then change your thoughts, change your mind, set your intention on having a great day, set your intention on creating success, set your intention on creating success in your life, in your relationships, in your business, in your money, in your health, whatever your goals are, set your intention. And then finally, number three is to act and feel in belief. Take action on those new thoughts. Take action and believe and put a feeling with it. Don't just say positive affirmations. Everyone can kind of put the words out there, but it's when you truly believe it and when you have total belief and you can see it in your mind happening, that's when the magic happens and that's when this comes apart. So there you go, you guys. That's beautiful. Built more. It was first empty space because it was in George Vanderbilt's mind first. It's now here existing as a legacy for generations to come and enjoy. And for you to create legacy in your life, you can do the same thing. Just set the intention first in your mind. You guys have a blessed day. Thanks for tuning in. Love you.